All right, so we've been looking at our website traffic, but do we know how we are acquiring those visitors? Where are they actually coming from? Is it because they're going out to Google and they're doing a search and we're coming through with organic traffic? Is it because you or somebody else has posted your content on social media and that's where it's coming from? Or is it referrals? So we've got our content being shared on other websites and someone's clicking on it from another blog post or another site. So let's dig into the acquisition of our visitors and see where people are coming from. So hopefully by now you're starting to see your traffic coming in. You're getting a ton of visitors to your website and your traffic's going up. That's fantastic. But do you know where they're coming from? So even if you only ever share your own posts on Twitter, that doesn't mean that's where they're all coming from. So hopefully people are finding you in a variety of different ways. Um, some it might be by searching on um, Google, it might be searching on Bing, typing something in and then hopefully your posts are showing up in those search engine listings. Um, and maybe your posts are being shared by people on other platforms in other places. So in the acquisition section in Google Analytics, we can get some quick stats from our overview report. So one of the things that we are going to notice is the top channels. So what you want is ideally to have a good amount of organic um, visits. So organic being somebody, again, going out to a search engine, typing it, putting it in there. And if you are getting a lot of organic traffic, that means that your um, your posts or your, your pages are well optimized for the keywords that people are typing in. So one of the biggest things for me is Forms Pro. I've done a lot of stuff on Microsoft Forms Pro. So when somebody Googles that, um, what is Forms Pro, Forms Pro versus Forms, that kind of thing. I'm going to come up on the um, first page typically for that, that specific sort of set of keywords. So having that organic search traffic is fantastic. But what we also want is we want to know that we're getting um, visits from other places as well. So direct would be maybe somebody... Um, clicking on a link that's in my regular email so not my marketing emails but if I send out an email to somebody or if I um, share something at a, um, an event I'm doing a presentation and someone goes ahead and just types it out it's a direct visit so someone's gone straight to my site not sort of passed through any other sites if that makes sense Social, that should make sense. That's basically if you've shared anything on LinkedIn or Twitter or Facebook or wherever you're sharing, not just you, but again, remember other people sharing stuff as well. Referral traffic is based on um, it coming from another place. So meaning, let's say, um, let's say that um, Lisa Crosby, um, who I do a podcast with, let's say that she puts something on her website that's a link back to mine. If someone then clicks on that link, that is then classed as a referral. It's been referred from her website back to mine. Email is going to be your marketing email. So my um, email traffic is very low. And the one of the main reasons for that is I switched to something called ConvertKit and that displays the full blog post within the email. So people don't need to visit my website to read it. Now, you might say, oh, that's not, not, not a good idea. I actually um, have had very good feedback in terms of people saying, oh, I love the fact that I can read it within the email and I don't have to go to the website. Um, so I'm probably going to keep it like that. But just keep that in mind that if you do have a blog where you're syndicating out and you've got everything that goes in through the email, that's not likely going to be one of the top channels that is going to kind of get people to your website. So just keep that in mind. So, yeah, so we get a, a good overview just from this section alone. We can also then see the behavior. So based on somebody coming from um, a social media post or referral, we can see that the bounce rate is a lot lower compared with if it's organic search. So organic search, um, again, like I said, Forms versus Forms Pro is, is one of the biggest sort of keywords or combination of keywords that gets used. So if somebody's just starting out down the path of learning about that specific product, 
and they read one post and, and they get what they came for, then that's it. They, they might just leave. So I think in terms of the bounce rate for the organic search, a lot of the times it's because of that. So um, they're not necessarily going through and looking at other pages. All right, so now let's go and drill into the all traffic area and we'll go ahead and we'll look at the channels. So again, that's what we were just looking at, but now we can get more information. So the number of users um, that we've had in total, the number of new users that came from that channel, set how many sessions, we have the behavior in terms of that bounce rate again, um, the um, average session duration, and then if we have any conversions with any goals that we've set up, what the sort of percentage is in terms of um, uh, the the number of completions, the duration of users, that kind of thing. So we've we've got more information um, that we can review from this. The tree maps is interesting. So this is basically where data is being represented um, as triangles. So sorry, not triangles, as rectangles. I, I do know my shapes, I promise. Um, as rectangle, blah, rectangles with the size and the color of each one representing different metrics. So they're good to use for any sort of hypothesis about the traffic to try and understand relationships between the different pages or posts that you might have. So if I go ahead and let's click on the direct traffic. So what we're able to see is that the larger the rectangle, the higher the number of sessions for that specific landing page. Those that have landing pages that have fewer pages um, and sessions will be on a sort of red color scale and the darker the red, the lower the number of pages and sessions and landing pages with more pages and sessions are going to be green and the darker the green, the greater number of pages and sessions for that specific landing page. So it's a, a good kind of tool to use to be able to see, OK, well, when somebody um, went to one page, then where are they kind of going from there? Um, and analyzing your your content in in different ways so we can then see okay for that specific landing page we get all of the details about that specific landing page and can drill into that a bit further if we look at the source and the medium section this is exactly where the traffic is coming from so if we consider we've got the source and the medium so the medium of organic or the channel of organic we then have the different search engines such as Google and Bing that are then the source for that specific medium. Um, your referral medium, you're then going to have all of the different sites that have you've received referral traffic from. Social is then going to be all of the different social media sites, Twitter, LinkedIn and so on. So we can see and drill down and see, OK, well, again, organic traffic is the most traffic, but we can see, sorry, Microsoft, uh, we can see the drastic difference in terms of the traffic that I get from people using Google to do those searches versus people using Bing to do those searches. So definitely something to pay attention to is not only um, what the medium is, but then the source as well is important. And this is really good in terms of the um, the referral as well to be able to see where you're getting the most referral traffic from. So again, I get a lot here. We can see from from LinkedIn, we get a lot of stuff that comes through there. Um, the acquisition section is also going to show us things uh, like Google Ad Analytics. It's going to provide information about the Search Console, but there's going to, that's going to be in, in another post that we're going to be touching on that. If I drill into the referrals area specifically, um, again we can see this is this is just for the the medium of referrals, and we'll see all of the different. Um, uh, sources, all of the different places that we're getting that traffic from. So now if we look at the social section, what we're able to see is a way to dig into sessions that originated from a social media site from some of some kind. And again, like I said, it doesn't matter if you're not necessarily posting stuff on different sites. Other people might take your content and share it. So I don't ever post anything on Yammer, I don't share anything on Facebook, SlideShare Blogger and so on. But yet I've still got traffic that's coming from these different places. And that's because somebody has taken one of my posts and gone ahead and shared it on one of those sites. 
We're also able to see any of the um, sort of conversions, meaning any goals that have been um, complete. And again, we're going to look at goals in another post. So if you don't have any set up, um, we're going to look at that in a future video and a future blog post. But you'll see how many conversions occurred due to that specific traffic. And if you have monetary value that you've linked to those conversions, then we're going to be able to see that there as well. So we're kind of getting an understanding of how valuable the social media traffic is. If we then go into the network referrals, so what we can do is we can use um, uh, segments and what we can do is we can look at the traffic for specific social media platforms. So what we're looking at right now is sessions via social referrals versus all of the sessions. But what I could do is I could change this and I could look at, let's just look at um, the top three that I use. So I use LinkedIn, I use Twitter and I use YouTube. So we can see that we're adding in these segments and I can go ahead and apply. And now what we can see is very clearly with the different colors, the sessions via the specific social media platforms. So in orange, we're seeing all of that LinkedIn traffic. In green, we've got Twitter. So we can see that on some days, Twitter is a lot higher than the others. And then YouTube traffic, we can see actually it's been fairly steady. And then all of a sudden now we're starting to get more traffic via YouTube. So more people are coming to my site because of YouTube. So that's something that then I'm going to be paying attention to and really thinking, OK, well, do what else do I want to do with YouTube? Do I want to maybe be putting out more more videos? Do I want to be having more links that are in my YouTube videos in the description to carry on and increase that YouTube traffic? So get to grips with the acquisition section because it's going to help you learn where your visitors are coming from. And again, even if you're not posting to places, you'd be surprised when you come in and check this out where people are actually coming from. So those referrals, whether they're social referrals, whether it's referrals from um, somebody else's website, whether it's because someone's um, posted it in a social media channel that you don't use, whatever it might be, it's definitely worth checking this out and knowing where things are coming from. I've found quite a few blog posts out there where people have referenced me or referred to me but not actually told me and that's been how I've known about their blog posts where they've referred to some of my content which is great because then you can go ahead and thank them um, share their post on Twitter and carry on with that engagement but so not everybody tells you that so go ahead and make sure you're using this section to find out these things hi I'm Megan Walker thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it if you don't want to miss out on any other content you can go ahead and Click on my face below to subscribe and if you want to watch the next video you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.